For all updates on cat prep, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now here we have been given this expression in log and we need to find the value of x upon y plus y upon x. So let us simplify this so we can write it as 2 log of x minus y by 5 and that is equal to log of x into y right because log of a plus log of b is log of a into b. Now further we can take these two and make it a uh, power of this expression. So we can again write it as log of x minus y by 5 whole square is equal to log of x into y right we have applied the logic that log of e to the power m is nothing but m times of log of a and vice versa. So again taking anti log both the sides so we will be getting rid of log and we will be getting x minus y by 5 whole square is equal to x into y. So let us expand it so we will be getting x square plus y square minus 2xy divided by 25 would be equal to x into y. Further we can write it as x square plus y square minus 2 times of xy is equal to 25xy right which can further be written as x square plus y square is equal to 27xy. Now if you look at this expression then we can see that if I take the LCM then it will be xy and here it will be x square plus y square. So effectively we have to find the value of this expression. So here we can see that if I take xy on the uh, on the LHS then it would be x square plus y square divided by xy and that is equal to 27. So the value of the expression is 27 and that is the answer for this question. Now here the question say that if xy whole square is equal to 4 and this expression is given to us then we need to find the value of x right. So we have to just focus on this expression before that since there is only one equation given and two variables. So let us use this portion so that we can replace uh, say y or replace x in terms of y. So if x into y square is 4 then the value of x would be 4 by y square right. So let us replace it in this expression so we will be getting it as log of 3 base it will be log of x so it will be 4 by y square with base 2 right plus this can be written as log of 3 to the power minus 1 right. The purpose uh, why we are doing so is that because uh, we need the same base then only we can apply the properties and here we can write it as log of say base 2 to the power minus 1 y right and this is equal to 1. Now further we can uh, we can write this as this 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 portion minus 1 can go outside so it will become minus 1 by 1. So straight away here itself I can say that I can remove minus 1 from here and replace this plus 1 with minus of 1. So this will be the second step right. Now if I assume this to be say a and this to be b then this is log of a minus log of b with base 3 every time right. So we know that in that case it will be log of a by b. So we can say that this will be reduced to log of base 3, a here is log of 2, 4 by y square divided by log of, this can be written as 2 to the power minus 1, uh, y right and this is equal to 1. Now further we can just manipulate here, this minus 1 can go outside. So instead of minus 1 here, if I remove then this becomes minus 1 this side fine again we can replace this minus and make it a uh, power of y so again I can write this minus 1 and take it to the power of y so it will be y to the power minus of 1 right again the purpose is same that the base should be same here right so again we can say that this base is same so we can uh, eliminate the base and it will be log of 4 by y square with base y to the power minus of 1 right and y to the power minus 1 is nothing but 1 by y. So let me write the base would be 1 by y and this is equal to 1. Now we can take anti log both the side so from here we can say that it is equal to this will be equivalent to log of 4 by y square with base 1 by y is equal to 3 to the power 1 which is 3 right again we can do the same thing same logic taking the anti log both the sides it will be 4 by y square is equal to 1 by y whole cube right and on solving we will be getting the value of y to be 1 by 4. 
Now we've got the value of y to be 1 by 4, we can substitute it here to get the value of x. So the value of x would be 4 divided by 1 by 4 whole square, which comes out to be 64, which is, and that is the answer.